we can uh, solve or we can show various tasks in terms of your flow chart for example if we have to draw a flow chart to find the sum of two numbers then we start we input a input b so this input is shown in the parallelogram we can combine these two also means input a comma b we can say then we have total is equal to a plus b that is we add them assign to total and then just print so where this actual computation is going on we showed it in the form of rectangle then the next is draw a flow chart to find the simple interest so we start we end then in the in the beginning we have to enter prt because we know the interest is p into r into t by 100 then we need to display it and if the user require more that is we have a we have a decision control here means yes or no is the possibility for that we use a symbol which is diamond so yes is this we go back back again do this again check for yes and no again if it is no we stop now a flow chart to find bigger number among two numbers so if two and three is uh, to be checked we know that we can check two greater than three because we know that two is not greater than three then three is bigger otherwise two is bigger right so this is the logic we are going to use so we start we read a and b we check for whether a is greater than b if it is yes we print a if it is no we print b and then we end then we have uh, another uh, flow chart for factorial now factorial for example we have to find factorial 3 this is we start with this say factorial n so we start with n then just deduct 1 that is subtract 1 that is 2 then again subtract 1 that is 1 and then we stop here and 3 into 2 into 1 is the factorial for that we start we assign fact as a variable and num equal to uh, 0 then we read the number that is 3 if for example if we take 3 then if the, if the number is greater than 1 what we do we assign fact to fact into num that is fact is 1 so initially 1 into 3 will be assigned to fact then we reduce the number by 1 that is now 3 has become 2 now we reiterate it this is a loop so we reiterate it because the, the number is uh, greater than 1 still because we we see that it is been subtracted so it, this 3 has become 2 so this uh, num into fact so now fact is 3 into 1 that is 3 and now we are multiplying 2 because 2 is the latest one and we reduce now this again so this become 1 we are going to go back and we see number is greater than 1 it is actually equal to 1 so we just print the fact and fact is nothing but 3 into 2 which is 6 and this is what the factorial is and then we stop so a flow chart is a type of diagram that represents an algorithm a process a decision solving uh, specifically as a precursor to making a program and it shows steps as boxes of various kinds and also the connection through the arrows the flow line symbol this symbol is used to connect these symbols and indicate the flow of logic the terminal sim symbol it can be a circle it can be an ellipse so the terminal sim symbol is used to represent the beginning and the end of task the input output symbol this is used to represent reading and writing operation and the processing symbol this is used for arithmetic this input output is like a parallelogram and this processing symbol is a proper rectangle this is used for arithmetic and data manipulation operation and then decision making symbol in the form of this is a form of a diamond so decision making symbol this is used to represent any logic in comparisons operation.